In this video, we're going to be making this little fast food app uh, for Fred's Fast Food. Where basically, you've got a few items on the menu, burger, fries, drink, ice cream, and a value meal. And you just have to click on the plus and minus button to make an order. Okay, let's just do that. Uh, you can press place order, and it gives you the total of that order. When you're done, you can also print a receipt, which displays a message box and tells you exactly what you ordered and how much each of those was. Okay, when you're done, you can clear the form and you can start again with the next customer. Alrighty, so that's how that app works. So let's head over to Visual Studio. Uh, this is the finished solution, so I'll close that off and we're going to start from scratch. Alright, so let's make a new project today. Actually, it's in Visual Basic and it's a Windows Forms app. Let's just call it, I'll just call it Fast Food. Actually, you save it on your desktop and give it, an, oh, not your desktop, sorry, in your documents. I'm saving on my desktop just for ease of use. Um, give it the name Fast Food. Click OK when you're done. And we should have a blank project up now, ready to start making our app. Now I'll probably do this um, tutorial over two videos. In this first one, I'm just going to design the look of the app. So I'm going to set up this form and make it look good. And then the second video, we'll do the coding. All right, so let's get this form looking good. First thing we'll do is click on this form and give it a name. So where's the name? Come down to the design section. Give it the name FRM Fast Food. So form fast food. We'll also change the text that appears in the top left hand corner here. So it says form one at the moment. Let's change the text here to say Fred's fast food. Okay, a little bit more meaningful. Next thing I might do is just change the background color of this form. So just scrolling up towards the top of the properties box, you'll see the back color. Probably choose the web option here and you don't have to copy me, but I'm going to choose like a lightish kind of orange. Oh, that's probably a bit dark still. That one looks a bit better. Peach puff is what I chose. Uh, that's our form looking pretty good, so we might as well get on to adding some of these elements. The next element or object we're going to add is a label. So let's bring out this label. This is going to be our header that goes at the top. So come down in your properties now, give it a name. LBL header and the text you want to whack in there. I might do it in capitals, Fred's Fast Food. And to make it look more like a header, obviously we need to make it bigger and bolder. So let's make it a bit bigger. I might go up to size 48 to start with. Might even change the font to something that's a nice thick font, something like impact. I'll click OK and see how that looks. Just a little bit too big at size 48, so I'll have to drop it back. Size 36 will do us for now. Alright. Uh, if you want, change the four colour. That's the colour of the text. So I might just choose a dark red for that one. We've got Fred's Fast Food as a header. Looking good. Uh, next thing I might bring out is some more labels. Where are they? Down here. And we'll put in the items on the menu. So I'll change its size first of all to size 10. Uh, the text, I'm going to write in burger. Whoops, don't want capitals. I'll write in burger. Put a dash and put in the price of your burger. So I'm going to put in 4.95. And we'll just give this a name as well. So label burger. All right, so just push that over to the left hand side somewhere. Press Control C to copy and Control V to paste. The next one we're going to do, we're going to give it the name Label Fries and the text you want to put in will say Fries and make up a price for a bunch of fries. We'll copy and paste that label and put the next one in. This time we're going to be doing drinks for $2.50. Don't forget to give it a meaningful name as well, so label drink. As you see, I'm just pressing Control c to copy, Control v to paste. Okay, after drink we've got ice cream, so let's give it a meaningful name, label ice cream. And the text is going to say ice cream, 
that's going to set us back 295 oops got that in the wrong way there you go and the last one we want to add in is a value mail okay so the text we're going to have in there is just value mail and we'll make that 895 label name will be LBL mail alrighty so we've got our five menu items in make sure they're all aligned perfectly and try and get the spacing between each of them pretty consistent okay that way it's going to look a lot more professional yeah that's close enough for now I'm sure you guys can make it look a little bit a little bit better than what I've done all right, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put in some buttons over the right hand side here to allow us to add these items to our order. So this is where it gets a little bit tedious. I'm going to use buttons for this. So bring out a button. Now the first button, its name is going to be BTN Burger Minus. Okay, and the text that we're going to type in on that is simply a minus sign. Okay, so this will take a burger off our order. That's how it's going to look. You want to make it a little bit smaller too, just in a bit of a square shape. And just check the text align is middle center. Okay, you want to try and get that in roughly in the center of that little box. So that looks, yeah, it's about as good as we're going to get it, I think. So if you want, you can. I just remembered in the properties box down the bottom, you actually play with the sizes. So let's make them 32 by 32. So you just write in 32, comma 32. And that sets your size as 32 by 32 pixels. All right, I'm going to copy that now. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And this time the name of our button is going to be BTN Burger Plus. And the text that we put into that one, uh, where's the text? There it is there. Instead of a minus sign, it's going to be a plus sign. So we're going to have a minus and a plus sign. In the middle here we're going to have a text box. So just scroll down your toolbox here and find the text box, bring it out. Okay, don't worry, it's going over the top of that. Now the text box is a little bit skinny, so you might need to change the size of your font, make it a bit bigger. Try size 10, that looks pretty good. Just get all these lined up. Yeah, it looks not too bad. I might just try size 11 and see if that's a better fit. Yeah, size 11 is what we want. Okay, now this text box, we need to give it a meaningful name. So look for the name there. We'll call it TXT Burger. All right, we just need one of these next to each of the menu items now. I might even move this over a little bit so it's a bit closer. So I'm going to copy those three things and paste them in straight below. Now we're going to add it to where the fries are. A little bit higher, we'll bring it down to there. Now we just need to give them some good names, some meaningful names. So let's look for the names here. Call it BTN Fries Minus. And then for this one, BTN Fries Plus. For the text box, it will just be TXT Fries. Okay, feel free to skip through the video now if you want. Um, towards the end because I'm just going to be doing the next three and I'm sure you can work out how to name them just a copy and paste job and then just giving them meaningful names all right so if you're going to keep watching let's call this one BTN drink minus and then this one will be BTN drink plus the text box will be TXT drink all right, two to go. So let's whack in the next one. First of all, let's change the minus sign to BTN ice cream minus. And the plus sign will be BTN ice cream plus. The text box will be TXT ice cream. Finally, copy and paste it in one more time. Get it down the bottom here. Find the name. Let's call it BTN Meal 
minus the plus one btn mil plus and the text box will be txt mil that will do us so that was the tedious part all out of the way okay in these text boxes we want the number zero to appear as the starting number to show that we haven't ordered anything yet for each of these so feel, feel free to go through and just add the text in as zero and we might have to align this text in the center as well so the way you do that is just below the zero there just center that text so they're all set to left align at the moment it'll just be a matter of changing the text alignment to center Right, we're nearly done. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. I might move this header across a bit now and just resize my form so it's a little bit smaller. That's looking pretty nice. All right, coming in down the bottom now, we're going to have a few buttons. So let's pop back up. Grab a button out. Now this button here is going to have the text on it that says clear form. When we finish making an order, we can simply clear the form. Now it's a little bit too small, so we'll need to resize it. Something like that looks good. And we're going to change the look of this button as well. So up the top, or near the top of your properties box, you've got this flat style of standard. Change it to pop up for me. And you can play around with the colours a bit as well. Okay, so at the moment, it looks like, scrolling up, our back colour is peach puff. Let's change that to another light. Maybe yellow colour. Let's try blanched almond. That looks pretty good. Um, and if you also want, you can play with the borders on these, but I think I might just leave the borders. I will change the font size though. Make it size 10, so it's in line with everything else. Um, and I'm just going to copy that button. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And I'll put another one in. And it's going to have the text that says place order. All right. Now we need to give these some meaningful names. So scrolling down, this button here will be BTN order. And this one here, the first one we put in will be BTN clear. All right. So I'm just going to position place order button over here towards the right. I might even stretch it out a little bit. Uh, it looks pretty good. Clear form. Might stretch it out a little bit as well. So it looks like that. They're the same width. I just want to keep them consistent. Yeah, they're the same width. So as long as they're the same width, they're aligned with one another. We're keeping consistency, which is going to make it look a lot more professional. All right, so the next thing we're going to add in is a total box. So let's add in a text box, which is going to go over here and a label to go with it, which is going to go over here. All right, so in the label, first of all, let's give it a name. The LBL total, and the text inside that label is simply going to say total. Now, we're going to make it stand out a little bit by making it bold, but keeping it size 10 so it's consistent with all the other fonts. Um, over here to the text box now, that's all we need for the label. We need to get this about the same width as the button to keep it consistent. Change the size of the font, size 10, and make it bold as well. Okay, it just makes it a little bit bigger. That's good. And I'm going to just scroll down here to where it says enabled and turn that to false. Okay. That's just going to stop people from writing inside of that. You can also change read only here to true. And that will just gray it out to show that it's just a read only text box. No one can actually adjust the price of the order. It all depends on whatever happens up here. Okay, so we can't actually click in that text box and write anything. All right, so that's looking pretty good. The final thing we need to put in is a little option to print a receipt. Okay, so I'm running out of room here, so I might just move everything up a little bit and we'll see if we can fit this in without resizing it. Move it up to about there. We 
you should be able to fit a button in that says print receipt. So I'm going to copy this place order button and paste it in again. Put it down just the bottom here. Looks like I'm going to have to make my form just a little bit bigger. All right. So on this button that we just put in, the text is going to say print receipt. And I might change its color as well from Blanche Darman. Oh, what options we got here? I'm going to stick with this kind of warmer color scheme I've got going on. Any light reds? Let's try a misty rose. That looks all right. That just separates this button from the others up here. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, do I give that a name? I didn't, so let's give it a name. BTN Receipt. We'll do us there. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good now. We've got our little app all set up. Okay, I might stop the video here, and what we're going to do is come back in a second video to begin the coding. Hopefully get that done in just one more video. So I'll see you in the next session.